So credit is important if you really want to buy the things that you want. In this video, I'm going to explain how you can build your credit fast right after this. What is up guys, it's your boy Young Lifestyle bringing you another video. I make financial videos, lifestyle videos, story times. So if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell notification so you don't miss anything. Now a lot of people know what a credit card is but they don't know why it's essential to have good credit. So let me break it down for you. So credit is basically the credit bureaus understanding how you borrow money. Basically how responsible you are to paying back that money. So why do you need credit? You need credit to buy that dream home, to rent that apartment, to buy that whip that you always wanted. You might need it to get approved for a small business loan. We don't know. Basically depends on your score to whether you get declined or not. So the first thing that you need to know that there are three credit bureaus that monitor your credit. Experian, TransUnion, and Equifax. Now you can pull up all three of them at freecreditreport.com, but I like to use um, creditkarma.com. The only downside to creditkarma.com is that they only offer two of them. I think they only offer TransUnion and Equifax. Don't quote me on that, but I know they only use two of them but it's still a good website to use now your credit can be broken down to a couple of important parts so number one is your credit history or your credit length so this is basically how long you've had the credit line open so let's say you had a credit card and you had it open for nine years that'd be an example of a good credit length because you've had it for that longevity of nine years the thing i can tell you is please please don't open a credit card buy one thing then close it that's probably the worst thing that you can do best thing that you can do is open that credit card buy something with it and leave that line open so it gains that credit length that we talked about earlier be careful though don't think that you can just open a credit card buy one thing and just leave it open and then that will establish a good credit line a lot of credit cards they close if you don't use them so be sure to use them periodically like once a month to buy little small purchases just so you can they can see that you're active you can buy things like a stick of gum or you just buy a tank of gas something like that would easily keep it open now the second thing is something that a lot of people fail to do and i don't understand why that is making your payments on time now it's really important that you try to pay the max off like pay it in full or to at least pay the minimum off if you have a car note or you have any credit line paying off a major asset you want to try to pay those on time all the time because once you miss a payment is gonna be very detrimental to your credit score. The worst thing that you can do is make your account go into collections. Basically what collections is, is after they send you multiple statements, after about 30 days, 60 days, they see that you're not responding and that will refer you to the collection agency which will give you a big hit on your credit score, which you do not want. What I like to say is if you cannot afford to pay for it, or pay, pay it back, don't buy it. Now, the next thing that we look for is the credit to debt ratio. So say you have a credit card with a $1,000 limit and you use that $300 to get those J's that you wanted. So $300 would be the debt and that original credit line would be the credit. Would put the credit to debt ratio to three out of 10 or 30%. Ideally, you want the credit to debt ratio to be 30% no more than 30% but to cut not to cut it too close I would say around 20 to 25 to be safe you don't want to have a high ratio because that means you have less to work with it's hard seeing that thousand dollar limit and you just want to spend it all but you, you, you can't you just can't and why you don't want a high ratio is because they see you as almost maxing out your card as you being a risk and they don't like risks they like people who you know are stable and you know constantly make payments and they can make their payments on time if you're constantly maxing out your card you're more likely not gonna pay it 
than somebody who uses only 20% of their card and they pay it off consistently. Now we have some questions associated with credit. A common question that's asked is, is having no credit bad credit? This is yes and no. The reason why I say yes and no is because the credit bureau, since you don't have any credit, they don't have anything to like really evaluate you on. So they can't tell if you're a risk or not. If they can't tell whether you're a risk or not, then they don't know whether to like lend you money or they don't know whether they should give you a credit card or not. It's kind of the equivalent to wanting something on eBay or Amazon. You're obviously gonna go with the people who have more reviews or they have higher ratings than the people who don't have that many reviews or don't have reviews at all. Or trust that you build up basically makes it seem that you're gonna pay, you're more likely to pay it off. If you have no credit, there's nothing for them to review you by. That's the reason why it's bad. And why it's good is because having no credit doesn't mean you have bad credit, it just means that you can start building it now. Having no credit is actually better than having bad credit because bad credit can take a long time to fix but if you have no credit you can start building it now it's kind of like the equivalent of starting college when you start off college you have a clean slate so it's easier to get that 4.0 gpa if you're starting college and you have a 1.2 gpa it's gonna be harder to build up to that 4.0 gpa because you're starting at a low gpa which resembles your bad credit now don't get discouraged if you don't have any credit or if you have bad credit you can always repair it and build it back up it takes time but it can be fixed now here's a tip if you do have bad credit you can send a letter to the person who's lending you the money or whoever the creditor is basically explaining your situation and if they don't respond in 30 days the credit bureau has to take that history off of your credit report just one of those tips that I can give you before you go to one of those credit repair agencies because that's basically what they're gonna do but I want you to do it for free because why pay somebody to do something that you can do for free, right? The next question is, what is good credit and what is bad credit? A credit ranges from 300 to 850. Bad credit is like 300 and good credit is around 600 to 720. Anything higher than that is like really good. Everybody should be aiming for the 700 and higher range. That's like your bread and butter. That's what you wanna get to. That's like the dream credit score. But your super dream credit score is anything over 800. If you got that, you're guaranteed to probably get accepted for everything and you're gonna have really, 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 really low interest rates if you can get that high. The other thing that can really damage your credit is having too many credit inquiries. Credit inquiry would basically be you going to Best Buy and you're trying to apply for a credit card and them like, pulling up your credit card history, that's like a credit inquiry. They wanna see what your credit score is so they can know whether to approve you for that credit card. If you go to the car dealership and you're not gonna pay off the car in full, they're gonna try to see your credit history or whatever, that's another credit inquiry. They're not bad if you spread them out like four or five months between each other, but having a lot of them in a short period of time is really bad. Like you don't wanna have two or three within the same month or maybe four or five, that's that's way too many. Like that can damage your credit, okay? Here is what you guys been waiting for. Here are some tips so you can start building up your credit fast. So number one would be to apply for more credit cards. If you have a credit card already, try to apply for two or three. Don't apply for more than that. Three would probably be my max. I wouldn't go over four. Definitely wouldn't go over five, but I try to keep it around like two to three or four more credit lines that you have open that are in good standing the more likely it is that your credit score will increase you want to have you want to pretty much spread out the debt between those three credit cards Make sure that you pay them on time so you can stay in good standing and that will increase your credit score number two is to use the card to make purchases that you can afford a tip that i like to tell people is instead of using your debit card to be paying for everything use your credit card to pay for it and then pay off the credit card with your debit card so just use that credit card and it will really help you it'll help you build your credit and you just pay it off with your debit card at the end of the month 
and you'll be good. Feel like debit cards have no real value or like they can't really help you that much besides like making online purchases and stuff like that, which you wanna be careful of. Next thing is to open checking and savings accounts. Having a savings account and a um, checking account Lenders look at that and they see it as having financial stability. Having these accounts actually increase your chances of getting a credit card. So open up those accounts and you're more likely to get a credit card. The tip is to try to stay in one place and keep a job. Now, if you're constantly changing jobs, that's really not a good look at all. Kind of makes you look unstable and risky because you're constantly moving. You're not staying in one place. They don't like non-stable. They like stable. Stable is something that they can live with. End of the day, they are business. So they wanna know that they gonna get their money. If they're not, they feel like they're not gonna get their money, they're gonna feel uncomfortable. Also, you wanna stay in one place. If you have a house or apartment, you want that longevity of staying there. You don't wanna be constantly moving. If you're moving too much, they see that. Unstable, risky, they don't like it. To stay in one place so you seem more reliable more stable so they're they're more likely to you know trust you last tip is to give it time good credit does take a while to achieve but once you get it it does go a long way so don't rush the process anyway guys i hope that video was helpful if you guys do have any questions or suggestions for more financial videos please leave them in the comment section below do make these videos every week trying to help you guys with your financial lifestyle so be sure to go subscribe and until next time guys it's your boy young lifestyle signing out peace